This episode is sponsored by the Tilt Cats, which can be found at tiltcat.com, also on edgeplay.info, which is a weekly podcast about video games, right along with some reviews that can be found over on their website. The Carousel Podcast, which can be found at thecarouselpodcast.com, also a weekly podcast, which can also be found on edgeplay.info, but not only does it cover video games, also music, movies, and comics. So check them out. Well, today on review, we're going to be covering Dead Nation for the PlayStation 3, which you can find it as a right now of the recording on the Welcome Back packet for the PlayStation 3, right along with a couple other games. So, I'm here to give you guys a review of it, because I know a lot of you probably want to do anything. You only have two games to pick from. Is Dead Nation one of the games you should pick? So, how about we find out in the review of Dead Nation for the PlayStation 3. Today we're looking at Dead Nation for the PlayStation 3, available on PSN, value of the Welcome Back Pack here from Sony. And of course, the gameplay itself is pretty much what would you get if you make a twin stick top-down shooter and mix it with Left 4 Dead. In a lot of ways, this is pretty much copying Left 4 Dead, with either the ability to play as a woman or a guy, and the ability to do co-op. Outside of the, the story of Dead Nation, pretty much takes place in the apocalyptic of a zombie infestation, and you, like I said, can either play as a woman and a guy, and pretty much leaving your house since pretty much all your defenses have failed, you out of food, supplies, so you go off to try to figure out what to do next by leaving your home. Which end up getting into a story about bioweapons, healing the planet, and so on. You know how these zombie story goes. I'm not going to warn too much for it because the ending is quite a very interesting one. Outside the story, like I said, the gameplay is a twin stick shooter. And really, it's not a lot heal. It pretty much one gun and every now and again hit a button and wait for something to come down or open while you fight out the floods of zombie. Why fighting with boss of Left 4 Dead monster like the boom or bit or... And, or tanks. So the only real issue with the game is, and a lot of time, mainly halfway through the game, they will start throwing way too many zombies at you. In some cases, you'd be fighting a zomb- a flood of zombies for 10 to 15 minutes. In a lot of cases, running all the way back in the beginning of the level just to defend them off. On the good side of this, I guess it is, they give you plenty of weapons and armor. Armor can be found scattered across the landscape as hidden packages. And pretty much the weapons is you buy it in a store by gaining money or experience from the zombies you kill. And the multiplayer aisle also can boost how much money you gain. And the multiplayer is you to pretty much that track, pretty much every country, and instead of competing just against your friend, you are competing from country to country, which is a very interesting idea when it comes to that tracking and goal tracking. But on back to the gameplay sense of it, after all the weapon consume, you can upgrade your weapon in many different categories such as inventory, capability, firepower, and so on. And a lot of the time, it will be a multi-level upgrade, which involves a lot of you killing zombies to get money to upgrade. And of course, in one playthrough, you will not have enough to upgrade everything, so it gives you a nice pick and choose and a little bit of replay value. If you play in the single player, don't expect the story to change from one character to the next. The male and the female character are pretty much the same story, just with different voices. And that is it. So, overall, I give Dead Nation for the PlayStation 3 a 4 out of 5. <laughs> to save 